I'm sure we've all seen this question on the internet. Imagine a 747 is sitting on a conveyor belt as wide and as long as the runway. The conveyor belt is designed to exactly match the speed of the wheels moving in the opposite direction. Can the plane take off? After it's posted, it will immediately be followed by unending arguments and fights. The problem is, the question is intentionally worded very poorly to have this outcome. It is not a genuine question. The main problem lies with this section. The conveyor belt is designed to exactly match the speed of the wheels. This is the part that causes the most confusion and is the crux of the argument. In short, in the actual scenario, the wheels are not a variable worth paying attention to. A ground conveyor belt, no matter how fast it is going, plays no part in the airplane's ability to move. The airplane could be chained to a wall with its engines on at full blast. The wheels will not move, and the airplane will not be moving. The plane could also be chained from its nose on a conveyor belt with the belt going 50 km an hour and its engines removed. The wheels will still be spinning at 50 km an hour, and yet the plane will also not be moving. The wheels play absolutely no part in the motion of the plane, and as such, matching its speed with a conveyor belt means absolutely nothing to the plane. The wheels are free spinning and unpowered. All the plane's thrust comes from its engines pushing it with no care about its wheels. In this way, it's actually not possible to have a plane stand still on a conveyor belt. No matter how fast the belt is going, the plane will still move forward as the engines have no inertial coupling with the ground. Another way to think about it is to replace the wheels with ice skates and make the conveyor belt ice and sloped forward. Regardless how fast the conveyor is going, the skates will still move forward. You can actually test this with a treadmill and a skateboard. Tilt the treadmill up on one end and turn it on. No matter how fast it's going, the skateboard will still slide off the end of the treadmill and not sit in place. The wording of this question intentionally tricks your brain into thinking of planes operation as being similar to a car, and that the wheels are somehow unable to move faster than the takeoff speed. If your plane has a takeoff speed of 300 km an hour, and you turn the conveyor belt up to 300 km an hour, the plane will not stand still. It will still move down the conveyor belt normally with the wheels spinning at 600 km an hour at takeoff. So, no matter how fast the conveyor is moving, the plane will move forward anyways and the wheels will simply be turning faster. There is no magic force locking the wheels to a plane's takeoff speed or coupling them to the engine's thrust. When visualizing this experiment, you can erase the wheels completely and imagine the plane is just hovering above the conveyor making no contact with it, because that's essentially what's happening, the wheels are irrelevant to the situation. If you want to be completely realistic, you would need to turn up the conveyor belt so fast that the, that the friction of the wheels themselves physically drags the plane backwards fast enough that the forward rolling is cancelled out. This would not be a true example, however, as the primary force holding the plane is friction. The wheels would also fail and your plane would be flung backwards off the conveyor belt long before you managed that anyways. So, the next time you see this posted, it's best to just ignore it, as it's not a viable question. It's a manipulated question that distorts views with the intention of causing people to argue. As a side, if you were to put the airplane in a wind tunnel and turn it up all the way to takeoff speed, the plane would be able to take off without moving forward. If you turn up the tunnel to match the engine's thrust, the plane could in theory stay in one place. Feel free to argue this in the comments below, but keep in mind that the question itself is inherently flawed as the wheels aren't a variable.